OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, has released a new language model, GPT-01. They claim it exceeds human PhD level accuracy on a benchmark of physics, biology, and chemistry problems. O1 is a reasoning model, so it will think more before answering your question. Hey guys, Dave here. In today's video, we'll cover the following topics. First, I will highlight the main differences between GPT-01 and GPT-40 in terms of how to use them and what they're designed for. Second, I'll demonstrate the results of both GPT-40 and GPT-01 for three different prompts, and you'll want to stay till the end because GPT-01's answer and reasoning to my final question, a new pig is born on my farm, how do I account for it, will blow your mind. <laughs> A new model coming out means new ways of doing things. According to OpenAI's website, I wanted to highlight the key differences between GPT-40 and GPT-01. The main difference is that GPT-01 is designed for complex reasoning. GPT-01 was benchmarked using mathematics qualifying tests and competitive programming questions. GPT-01 doesn't replace GPT-40. When we visit the ChatGPT website, we can clearly see the types of problems GPT-40 is suited for. These tasks include what we are already familiar with, such as summarizing an email, writing texts, analyzing images, or generating fun facts about random topics. <laughs> When we switch over to GPT-01, which uses advanced reasoning, OpenAI suggests tackling more complex problems, such as answering the famous question, is a hot dog a sandwich, or even which came first, the chicken or the egg? <laughs> That being said, since the two models are different, OpenAI suggests a different approach when prompting the tool. For the GPT-40 model, a great way to prompt is by following a specific formula, such as the Goal Context Expectation formula. You can even assign ChatGPT a role and set the tone as an expectation. Typically, the more precise and detailed the context you provide in your prompt, the better the results. For GPT-01, however, the approach is a bit different. OpenAI offers advice on prompting on their website. The two most important pieces of advice are, first, keep prompts simple and direct, avoiding extensive guidance. And second, avoid chain of thought prompts. I know I just mentioned that we should prompt differently when using 4.0 on the left versus 0.1 on the right, but to simplify things, I wanted to compare the exact same prompt on both models. Here's the prompt I used. How many jobs will AI replace by 2030? The first notable difference is that ChatGPT in the new model now has a thinking section where we can click to see how long it has been reasoning and what its reasoning process was. In this case, it thought for six seconds and we clearly noticed that wait when we hit send on our prompt. The first sentence from both models is different. We see that O1 is more nuanced. It starts by mentioning its knowledge cutoff as of October 2023, which is absent in the GPT-40 model. Both models highlight that while AI may displace some jobs, it will also create new opportunities. Both models also cited the same three sources with an extra one for GPT-01. We can see that GPT-01 provided the reference years for its sources and highlighted key information. GPT-01 went deeper by listing factors influencing job displacement, such as technological advancements, economic conditions, and skill gaps. Overall, GPT-01 felt more nuanced, restating its conclusion at the end and highlighting that tens to hundreds of millions of jobs could be displaced by AI. It gave a sense that more reasoning had been done. Second prompt, what's the best approach to negotiating a raise and promotion? Focus on key preparation steps and how to present my value again on the left, GPT-40, on the right, GPT-01. It's thinking here, gathering information. It thought for five seconds. 
First thing first, on the right, ChatGPT is explaining to us what it's doing right now. It's gathering information and he's telling us that it's mapping out how to negotiate a raise by starting with a self-assessment of accomplishments, researching market value, selecting the right time and preparing a compelling case that aligns achievements with company goals. Then we have the first paragraph that is uh, basically the same here to the right and to the left. And then we have the step-by-step -step on the left, which includes the self-assessment on both sides. And it's basically the same thing, list your achievement, list your accomplishment. It's really, really similar. It just says here on the right where we shall quantify or impact, and it gives us more detailed information with examples saying that you will reduce the cost of the company by 20,000 and you will improve the customer satisfaction by instance. It doesn't say something similar on the left here. So a little bit more details from GPT-01 here. So very similar results for the first section, especially the third and first bullet point, which are roughly the same. And then we go to point B on the left, which is point two on the right. And here we talk about the standards, both on the left and the right. Overall, my findings are that it's pretty similar on GPT-40 than on GPT-01. There was not much difference. I'm guessing my problem wasn't too complex after all and it didn't need much reasoning so if you're going to ask generic question like that i could not advise using either gpt01 and gpt40 so let's try the third prompt which is i think a really complex problem Okay, we're running the Piggy Bank Content YouTube channel and we have the Piggy Beans Cafe and we decided to buy a pig from our sister's company, the Piggy Farm. And we asked ChatGPT, I am a farmer and a pig was just born on my farm. How shall I record this in my accounting books? And this is crazy because ChatGPT01 here thought for actually 16 seconds. And this is a very complex problem problems in accounting of course is not really usual right this is not something we see every day and it taught for 16 seconds so if we remember with the first prompt it actually thought for five or six seconds when it was will ai replace the jobs by 2030 and then for the second prompt about the promotion it taught for five seconds but here since it was a way more complex problem it actually taught for 16 seconds asking a lot of great questions to itself i won't get into too much detail because this is really niche but i want to highlight the difference it did here first it asked us what should be the fair value of the pigs which it didn't do on the GPT-40 model here. It just said if you treat livestock as an inventory. So we can see on the right here that there was a little bit more questions asked from GPT-01. If we just look at the general length of the result, on the left, we can see that it was a pretty brief answer and in accounting, it can go either way. So to the right here, I love the fact that we have a way better, way more thorough answer from GPT-01. So we have a specific example with some specific amounts so we can actually understand a little bit better. On the left, we have an example as well, but there is no amount at all. And if we keep going on the left, it's not really nuanced, right? It doesn't say it depends which accounting standards we're, you're using. And to the right, what I like is that is actually telling us it depends of which accounting standards you are using, which is really important in accounting. And it gives some extra explanation here, which we don't have on the left at all. It just tells us here is what you should do. So I think that we just found the use case of GPT-01 when it's really complex problem that has actually multiple output possible or multiple solution. So we even see here that it asks us to consult a professional, which we don't have on the left, which on the left is okay. It's one path possible. On the right, it's a little bit more nuanced and it gives us some additional tips to account for our pigs. <laughs> So here is my recap of GPT-40 versus O1. Of course, these are my early conclusions because the model just came out. 
GPT-4 and O1 are very similar when the question involves general topics such as how to ask for a promotion. GPT-01 is a bit more nuanced when it comes to predictions or uncertainties such as asking if AI will take over our jobs. GPT-01 provides more thorough answers and takes longer when multiple options are possible such as how you should account for a pig in your accounting system when running a farm. <laughs> I couldn't say if there is a clear winner but I hope this sheds some light on whether to use GPT-40 or GPT-01. If you enjoyed today's video please subscribe to my channel and you can also watch this video right here. So we hope you like our new naming scheme, 01. <laughs>